welcome back to another virtual teaching tips. So I know there are teachers out there just like me who are looking for digital ways to present instructions to students or walk through students in a particular task. For more tips about this screen recorder app, please watch until the end and don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and ring the bell notification. Okay, let's begin. So this is just a very important tip before you record yourself. When you start recording using Screencastify, you have to launch the Screencastify first before you present any PowerPoint slide you have. Otherwise, it won't let you embed your camera. So remember, launch the Screencastify first before you present your PowerPoint presentation so that your camera will still be, the embedded camera, I mean, will still be there. Okay, and then here, you can just move this wherever you want to put it. Okay, so that's just a very short tip before we start with the walkthrough. So how to record a video tutorial using a screen recorder called Screencastify. Now, what is a Screencastify? It is a screen recorder extension for Google Chrome. Now, why Screencastify? I have tried some recording apps, but will not allow you to embed your face on the monitor. And some only allows you to record your voice so it's just like a voiceover so i like screencastify because of these following advantages one because it's free for basic membership it doesn't have any trial days as long as you do not upgrade you just get the basic membership and there is no end to it and it automatically saves videos to your google drive it embeds a second camera just like what you see now and it also has writing tools and you also have the option to directly upload it to YouTube or to your Google Classroom once you finish with the video recording. So let's discuss this one by one as I walk you through the steps on how to install the Screencastify. So the first thing you need to do is to create your account and install the extension. And you can do that in Screencastify. Dot com. The reason why you need to create your account is because all your video recordings automatically saves to your drive without you having to do anything. If it's your first time, it will say install. So just click on that one and then you will see the screen Castify at the very top of your browser once it's already installed. The free membership, by the way, allows you to record a maximum of 5-minute video. If you want to extend more than that, or if you are doing video tutorials that are more than 5 minutes, then you can go ahead and purchase the premium account, which is unlimited. But anyway, video tutorials should be kept short and simple, so two batches of recording is, I think, good enough. So you don't have to purchase the $39. Okay, so what is the first step? Now that you have installed the extension on your browser, the first step if you want to record is to click on this one. You will land on a page that will look like this. It will give you these options if you want to show your browser tab. So just one tab if you want to show your whole desktop screen i always prefer this one because it allows me to move from one tab to another or from one powerpoint to another and if you choose the webcam you will only see your face and of course turn on the microphone if you want to see an embedded webcam just like this one you have to turn this on and once you are ready, you press record. Let me just show you the tools of the screen Castify. So you have here focus. If you click on this one, it will allow you to focus on something else. 
and hide cursor of course we will not hide our cursor highlight clicks highlight when you click on something let me, wait. Let me just remove the focus okay if you want to highlight something you can also do this one once you click on it it will show a red um, circle and pause you can always pause it mouse pointer and then this is what I like the best the drawing tool okay see page and then you can use the eraser to take that out okay and embed webcam let's say for instance you don't want to show your face you can click this one and it will disappear now if you want to bring back your face click that back again okay so those are the tools for screen castify now I always want to embed my camera because I have students who are visual learners they want to see their teacher talking so they can easily grasp the lesson um, better okay now once you are done recording go back to this and just click stop it will bring you to your recordings which will look like this just click on the hamburger button my recordings and it will show you all your recordings so let me just show you one it recorded all your desktop screen now if you can see this one it says upload failed because your drive storage is full so since mine is full I need to go to my drive and delete some but uh, you don't have to worry because it's also saved in your screen recording app okay now how do you save this you can always click on download however if you automatically click the download button it will give you a VLC media file and I don't usually do that because some video editors do not accept that file extension so what I do is I export it to an mp4 file export click export once it's done there will be a button here that says download and when you download it you get the mp4 file now let me just show you how it looks like when it automatically saves in your Google Drive so if, if it's your first time you don't have to do anything once you record your first video it automatically creates a screencastify folder and you can see all those videos that were automatically uploaded but the file again is a VLC file okay so it's your choice if you want to download the VLC file or export it to mp4 before you download before you download it on your computer okay now the good thing about this one is if you are very efficient in recording and you don't have to edit your videos you can always share it to your Google classroom or publish it to YouTube so but of course you have to be logged in before you share it to your Google classroom or upload it on YouTube so that's how the screencastify works I hope this was helpful and hope to see your video tutorial as well